Hello everyone, my name is Peanut, and welcome back to Hardcore. Uh, if you can hear it in my voice, I'm still a little, uh, still a little sick. Uh, I'm recovering from it now, but I'm still a little bit stuffy. And I pressed the wrong button there. Uh, but I did discover a little bit of a flaw in my melon and pumpkin farm over here. Uh, which is that there was not enough light in the middle, so nothing was actually growing. So I put light, uh, I put little shroom lights over all of the water sources, and now they're growing perfectly fine. And that melon's about to get picked up. So yeah, now they're growing, so this should start going a bit faster. It's already pretty, it's already going pretty well. Um, if I get to a point where I need more than it's producing, then I will just, I'll put another layer on there. Um, but as of right now, it's, I don't need it. And down here, I haven't really done anything, but that's what this episode is going to be about. Uh, this, this episode, my main purpose is, uh, infrastructure and, like, basic farms. Uh, so, like, yeah, like, this is not enough. I need more sugarcane. Like, I need more of an influx of sugarcane. I actually am not liking a whole lot how this farm is working, so I may even just end up tearing the entire thing out and building, like, a like a very small flying machine farm or even, like, mining out even an even bigger room and making a bigger flying machine farm because I, uh... I just, I need more sugar cane than this. And it's like they keep getting stuck everywhere. Another thing I'm going to need a lot of coming up real soon is gunpowder. I'm going to need a whole lot of this stuff. <laughs> to make rockets and things, I want to try and fill at least half my ender chest with rockets before I go fight the ender dragon. Uh, because I want to try and fight the ender dragon and then get an elytra in the same episode. If I can do that, because that would be super cool. I'm just gonna go, like, I plan to just go directly from killing the dragon to looking for an end city. So, yeah, but before I can do that, I want to do that next episode, which will be very poetic to do it on episode 10. Um, I do want to start getting some more infrastructure in place as far as, like, nether... Uh, like nether portal networks and things like that. So what I'm wanting to do is if we'll look at the map down here, there's like this sort of area of plains here that's connecting this part of the continent to the part of the continent that we haven't finished mapping out yet, which I'm going to bring a couple maps with me so that we can do that and also pop these two off so that I know which ones to map. I want to turn this plains area, or at least somewhere in this plains area, into, like, my main, like, hub nether portal. Um, because it, it connects the two areas very well, and once I have an elytra, it'll be super easy to just fly over the mountains and get home. And I'll still have the nether portal that's in my base, um, that, that's down this nether portal right here. I'll just have, like, a tunnel that connects from here to my portal here so I'll still be able to get back and forth between them but like this one is where my hub portal will go and it's where my nether hub will be on the nether side of it all right so here's kind of that area that I was talking about right here uh where the two kind of like the bearing straight if you will uh between this part of the continent and that part of the continent over there with all of the sheer cliffs and everything. So we are going to have to get over there in order to make our new maps. That's going to be fun. But yeah, this is where my sort of nether hub area is going to be. It'll probably be like right here. Um, and I'll make like a cool, cool nethery style building for it. But we're going to try and get over there. I think I've done it before, but... Yeah, I think I did it one time when we went to get a... There was, like, a sheep over here. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Look at this. It's like a... It looks like a creeper hole. Um, but it just goes straight down right there. That's fun. Uh, so... Am I there yet? Not yet. 
I need to make sure that I don't walk off the edge of the continent. Is that like one chunk of snow? Oh my goodness, it's one chunk of snow. That's crazy. Oh, there's another little bit right here. That's, that's so weird. Oh, it's thunderstorming. Lovely. Okay, let's grab that. Oh, that's not a whole lot. No, oh, there's a creeper in there. Hello, sir. I would prefer it if you would give me your gunpowder and leave. We need to go this way. I guess this isn't the last part of the map. I mean, the this la the last the actual last part can't be super big, can it? No, Ooh, lightning. Yeah, it doesn't look like this last bit of what would go on like a final map is super big, so I wonder if I'm 50 blocks away from that skeleton over there. Sniper duel? Ha <laughs> ha Yes! Oh, that was one shot too. That's so fun. That's so fun. I love the sniper duel advancement. Well, we have successfully gotten all the maps that I think we're going to bother to get of this uh, continent that are going to go in my- Dude, creeper! In my starter base. No! Don't- I wanted the gunpowder. Yeah, what I was saying, I think we've gotten all of the um, maps, at least, that are going to go in the starter base. I do plan to make, like, a, a big map room that's going to be, like everything in the ocean surrounding us uh, which will require a whole ton of maps which I have a cartographer for so I'm not really worried about that but it should be a big project so I'm leaving a lot of the like massive projects I have in mind for after I beat the ender dragon because a lot of the big projects I have in mind require uh, will be a lot easier with an elytra. Alright, we're gonna put the maps back up here. And see, nope, that one goes on the bottom, and this one goes here. Alright, we're just missing a little bit on the top there, but eh, it's not, not that big of a deal. So yeah, this is where Nether Hub stuff's gonna go, like right, right about there. In the hoo, right about there. And everything else, hopefully, eventually, this, um, this whole continent will be covered in just stuff. Like, a bunch of different builds and stuff. Uh, builds for farms, builds for villagers, um, builds because they're fun, uh, just things like that. Every every which thing. I do have some plans for like these cliff faces that are facing out into the ocean. Um, or depending on things, I might use these cliff faces on the inside of here instead. I don't know. Um, but I have I have a plan that utilizes uh, lots of cliffs that are close together, so that should be very fun. And is it getting dark? I can't tell. So yeah, but next on the agenda is, I believe, I will probably take an amount of this stone and cobblestone and go make a, just a general mob farm, uh, somewhere out there in the ocean, over in, in that general direction, I believe. Okay, so I may have lied just a little bit. I actually, uh, instead of making the mob farm immediately, I uh, tore out my entire sugarcane farm and rebuilt it. Uh, so this, I believe, is is Tango's design from like 1.16 or something uh, after they patched out oh, zero ticking. Uh, and so it's producing a lot more than the other one uh, already, and it is 100% lossless, um, 
The only change that I had to make was I had to use gates instead of iron bars because piston heads connect to iron bars now. So there's, uh, that's the only difference there. And then I can stand on these perfectly fine. I plan to make a second layer at least. Um, I should hopefully not need more sugarcane than that, but if I do, I can always just dig up and add more layers on top. Uh, so now it is time for the, uh, the mob farm fun. So I have constructed a large thing uh, I did not include in the time lapse, finishing up the uh, timing, the clock at the top, uh, because uh, I did actually record it in the time lapse, but I, I initially built it wrong, and so I was like, eh, I'll just cut it from the time lapse and fix it. Uh, I also did not include uh, filling in the water and making this collection system at the bottom because it is currently very um, inefficient and it doesn't sort anything out. But I have been uh, hanging around here for a couple hours, um, just tabbed out, not actually away from my computer so that I could hear if I was getting damaged or something. And I ended up coming out with a lot of gunpowder and also, you know, various other things. So that's pretty cool. So I think I have uh, plenty of gunpowder with which to make uh, many, many rockets. So we are going to put as much of this as we can into our ender chest. And then my next order of business in this uh, preparation to in this preparation to dragon fight is to get more blaze rods because I am currently out of blaze powder with uh, with which I need to make the eyes of Ender to find the stronghold and also to get to the end. Oh, by the way, I also found this like I was I was boating out like to the wet uh south it's south of my of my base to find like a deep ocean and uh, i found this cool deep ocean and this uh amazing mushroom island and i was like oh this is a good place for like industrial stuff and i can put like the stuff that needs to spawn mobs out in the deep ocean and i can put the stuff that needs to not spawn mobs on the mushroom island and I can also use it to acquire the massive amounts of dirt that I'm going to need for the amount of terraforming that I'm probably going to have to do on my base continent but also another feature of this location is that there is a monument an ocean monument right over there <laughs> so I can make I, I can have like literally all the farms that I need in a in like a sort of centralized location and there's also ice that way, so I can have an ice farm over there. It's, it's a whole thing. It's wonderful. Uh, and I did link this up to a little pathways in the nether that I would like to show you. Oh, well, there's this hallway, um, because it, it, the actual portal that I needed to get to was, like, down there somewhere, and I did not want to 
go through that mess. So I just dug into the wall and I found out that we were actually quite a ways up from where my portal spawned down there. So I think what I would like to do is when I start building like a nether hub proper, I'm going to move it all up to that higher level so that it's, it's easier to get around places. And I will commence with the making rockets later. Because currently it is time to find a uh, nether fortress and well to go to the nether fortress which I forget where it is so I'm just gonna wander around until I find it again well this might prove to be a little more difficult than I thought it would be hello sir come at cometh at me still no spooky scary skeletons that kind of makes me upset, actually. Okay, that guy. Well, that guy I need to get rid of. Hello. Doesn't look like he dropped a blaze rod. And then, well, I guess that wither skeleton that was here despawned. <laughs> I did not receive a single blaze rod for that, despite having looting three. Still no blaze rod, what the heck? Dang it. Of course, the one time one of them actually drops a blaze rod, it falls into the lava. Okay, two blaze rods. Let's get some more. There we go. You know what? I think 11 blaze rods should be plenty for now. I will eventually use this uh, blaze spawner to make a blaze farm because it's actually in a fairly good location for such a thing. But that aside, I have 16 eyes of ender. So I think... We're gonna go ahead and end out this episode with finding the stronghold. So let's throw this thing and see where it goes. That way. I'll see y'all there. If all else fails, there's probably a bed in there that I can sleep in. Oh, it went back. Oh, it's going straight down now. Okay. We don't like digging straight down, so we are going to do that little sideways thingy. Oh, I hear slimes. I spy. Oh, there's the library. Oh, I forgot there's a chest up here. It's just got iron in it. Whoops, I am out of torches. I guess I don't. If I have one over there and over there, I don't need one in the middle, so I can put it up there. I think there's supposed to be some, like, chunk trick that you can use to find it. But I'm not, uh... I'm not gonna do that. Mainly because I don't know what it is. Well, it's dark in here. Oh, there it is! Okay, let's get rid of that. Ooh, okay. End portal, end portal. Let's block a- I totally did not bring enough blocks for this. Anyway, uh, I am moderately prepared for what lies ahead. Well, I suppose, um, I've got, honestly, everything that I could probably need. Maybe there's some things in my inventory that I could do without. But otherwise, I think I'm doing alright. Let's, uh, let's go fight a dragon.